October felt like one of the worst months for investors in many years. Asset class broadly sold off, and by now, most asset classes are posting negative year-to-date returns. Despite the price action and negative sentiment, we remain cautiously optimistic that we are closer to the end of the correction rather than at the beginning of a more prolonged bear market. We prefer to look for oversold, high-quality assets, which were dragged down with the general selling. What explains our relative optimism? First, growth in the US is still strong, even if its pace will slow in 2019. While growth in earnings is likely to fall with slow revenue growth and margins under pressure from higher wages, earnings should continue to grow. Despite political events in Italy and Germany, Europe's leadership might suffer further, but uncertainties around Chancellor Merkel's leadership have been a preoccupation for the past year and are nothing new. While the Italian government will continue to challenge Brussels and its rules on budgets and fiscal deficits, both sides will be cautious not to cause a full-scale crisis. We also expect China's stimulus in the form of rate cuts, higher spending, and a weakening currency to stimulate a recovery. Very importantly, while our base case remains for a Fed to hike rates at a regular pace next year, the Fed has always been pragmatic, and Jay Powell is an experienced practitioner. He knows that inflation is a risk, but not yet visible, and that the stronger dollar will keep imported prices low. We continue to be mindful of risks associated with the deteriorating US-China relationship and sharply focused on wage and inflation numbers. All in all, we believe that these positive effects that we talked about earlier will be supportive for markets and do encourage investors to get used to higher volatility uh, in the near future.